Are you a beginner video editor or a YouTuber who wants to incorporate great audio to your video edits? If you've been uploading videos to YouTube for a while now, chances are you experienced a copyright takedown notice on one of your videos if you used some audios you downloaded on online. It doesn't take a lot to have this infraction, in fact. Just a few seconds of a copyright audio material will enable YouTube to either mute that part of the video you have or take the revenue from that upload to the owner of the music. Well, YouTube has a free and easy solution to that one. The YouTube Audio Library. So here we are now in the in your YouTube account. You have to sign in and go to your account and let's go to YouTube Studio so you can access YouTube Studio by clicking on your account and click YouTube Studio. And right here you can see all your analytics and of course the content of your channel. And right here at the very bottom is the audio library. Just click on it. And that's where you can see all the files that you can download from YouTube, free music, and sound effects. So let's check this one first. At the bottom, you can see all the controls and of course the volume dial. You can try out other things just by clicking on the play button. And you can also filter out the free music through the mood. You can, let's say you want dark music or you want happy music, just click on it and it will filter out all the happy music in that one. And of course, by, by genre or artist, you can mix and match all these uh, parameters to what you really want and try out some of it because there's a lot of files that you can choose from. You can also scrub through the the timeline of the audio just so you can save more time. Maybe you want that part of the audio for your video edit. And of course, this is the uh, audio library license. <laughs> just read on it if you have some time. But if you want to use these audio to your YouTube um, account that will be pretty useful so we can download this one and just save it on your folder anywhere you want and then later on you can just choose anything that matches some scenes of your videos so let's just download at least three and next we are going to explore the sound effects as you can see here is the car driving by these are just snippets these are not full audio files so you can just search through it one by one and of course there's no artist or any mood that you want you have to search for it and here we can even have zombies <laughs> So you can search for it here, search uh, the library via track title. Let's say we want to find some audio effects for crowd. And you can see there's a handful, the crowd, female crowd celebration. It's pretty handy. If you're a very creative person, you can really maximize the use of these files to boost the effect on your video let's also try to search for you know crash skateboard crash metal crash and junk so right now we have our three files that we have downloaded here let's open it with vlc and as you can see it plays locally so you basically have the local copy of the file 
and then if you check on properties you can see that it's a very reasonably a high quality audio file it's 320 kbps the bitrate so it will be very clear and high quality also very in a very small file size you can download basically a lot of this and not have run out of space so we, here i have davinci resolve the editing software that we use to edit our videos and then you can just drag your audio and then use that in your edits i'm not going to show you how we <laughs> edit maybe you have a different software or a different workflow and we're just going to show you how the, the roughly the entire process of downloading and using the audio to the editing process so right. it's pretty good at this point you can also lower and you know as a background uh, effect background music you can just lower the volume of your audio it's so easy you can now have a hassle-free upload on YouTube the next time you do it just remember that if your videos still contain copyrighted materials in them you might want to edit it out as well as to be on the safe side so if you like this tutorial just leave a like and comment below subscribe to Sydney CBD repair center until next time guys cheers